going Gary here and welcome to a brand new deck tech video. Today I'm going to talk about the Secret Paladin deck that I've been using together with my Mali lock uh, to climb to Legend very early after two days after the new season. And this is like a, an important season. It's the first season where you get points for, for BlizzCon 2016. So this is my... Uh, a lot of people were curious about this list. So. And it actually even has a brand new card from that was released just yesterday. So let's go over the deck list here. So the secrets, um, it's it's like my favorite combination of secrets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven secrets. Um, it's not like ten secrets. Like you wanna cut as many secrets as possible, but at the same time you wanna have as many as possible to get the maximum value of the challenger when you play him on six. So double avenge. One competitive spirit and double noble sacrifice. Those two secrets are obviously the strongest ones. Even if you would draw them, they're playable. Uh, Avenge is great with most of a battle. Obviously, you prefer to not draw secrets at all, but if you draw them, they're all right. Secrets that you basically never want to draw are competitive spirit, redemption, and repentance. Never. Like you really never want to draw them. You want to get them for free with Challenger. But if you get them from Challenger, that's insane. Like they're really, really good. But if you, yeah. But if you get them earlier, that's that's bad. So you always mulligan those away. You never keep them. So, Finlay Murgleton. The thing is that the Paladin hero power is not good for a Secret Paladin. Uh, you basically rather have anything else. And I really want to play one one drop, but I don't like to play any other one drop. I don't like too much. Even the secret keeper, I don't like him too much um, because you never want to keep secrets. You always want to mulligan them away and there's only very few matchups. Like if you keep secrets for the secret keeper, you just nerf your challenger for later and you really don't want that. So I really don't like uh, secret keepers. And the zombie chow I don't like as well because face damage is very valuable and if you start healing your opponent, uh, he can force the game to late game and usually you would late, uh, lose late game against any control deck because you really... Uh, where, um, dependent on if you play the challenger Dr. Boom and Tyrion, if you play those cards that you win the game, not that your opponent can deal with them somehow and then come back, so you have to finish with those cards, when you drop them you need your opponent to be unable to deal with those and then you finish your opponent in like one or two turns later so uh, yeah, Warlock hero power great um, Dread hero power is great as well there's like other good hero powers you can get, uh, depending on the situation and if you wanna just burst this very burst heavy deck, so even the hunter hero power is useful. Hunter creepers, um, but obviously I couldn't test it too much since the card is brand new. But for now I kinda like him. Hunter creeper and knife jack and mini bot just to have enough early game. Six two drops and they're all very very powerful. Cock hammer and double master pretty core. Uh, I added Arjun Horse Rider to just have like even more early game just to deal with other aggro decks. Arjun Horse Rider is great, also great for Blessing of Kings. My 4 drops, I decided to not play Keep of Ulderman, it's too situational. Because I really like Double Kings, it's a very 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 powerful card, especially with Master for Battle. Because you basically have a minion that has charge. If, if you have a token on board, it's a 5-5 five, five minion with charge for mana, which is really good. And sometimes Ulderman is just not that good. If you like have no nothing on board, you can't play it. Obviously, the same goes for Blessing of Kings, but it's more impact to have Blessing of, of Kings. Like oftentimes, if you wanna use Ulder Keep of Ulderman to nerf an opponent minion, you don't have the minion yourself to trade into it, so it's awkward, and it's more like for control play style. Uh, Defender of Argus on the other hand is really great because Taunt is good against other aggro decks. Oftentimes they just ignore your board and just go face, especially Druids. So I really like to have one Defender, nobody expects you to have one. There's like small little things you can do, like when you play against Priest, you have a mini bot, then you buff the mini bot to a 3 3 plus Taunt so you can't cabal it, stuff like that. Pretty good. Shredder is just the best fall drop in the game still. I, yeah, that's the reason I have so many f turn 4 plays. Uh, that I had to cut the true silver champion, I had to cut the keeper of Uldermans because I really think double kings and double shredder is like the best thing to play. And Argus because of the taunt, Lord Tap and Sludge Belcher to have 5 drops and they're both really really powerful. 
Avenging Graph, I, I play this over Rack because Rap sometimes very un unreliable, especially in the mirror. Because what you hit, you can just hit tokens. And Avenging Graph is 8 damage for 6 mana. Extremely powerful as a finisher. Uh, so, as you guys know, I don't have Zombie Chow or anything. It's a very aggressive deck. And the bombs, the common bombs. So, this is my deck. And I'm also going to so show you some high legend play with this, with this deck. Thanks, you guys, for watching. And see you in the games.